Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to DH Music. My name is Derek, and today I wanted to compare uh, these two beauties. These are my two main uh, MJT uh, strats. Um, these are, you know, this one's obviously my Lincoln Brewster uh, tribute strat. I made a couple videos about this already. Um, really love this guitar, um, and this is my actually my first MJT. This is a kind of a 50s uh, two-tone sunburst uh, heavy relic strat, and these are my main guitars for a long time. I absolutely love these things. And um, for the last, I'd say, um, four or five years, I've been using the DiMarzio Virtual Vintage pickup, specifically the Area 58 uh, in the Nick and Mental 61 uh, in the bridge, uh, a la Lincoln Brewster. And uh, I've had those in several strats um, back when I was using Squire Classic Pipe strats, which, by the way, Amazing guitars. If you're on a budget and you know you want a good strat, definitely check out those classic vibes. Amazing guitars for the money. I had two of them actually look pretty much like this. I had the uh, 60th anniversary uh, Aztec Gold and the uh, Two Tone Sunburst, and uh, they both had the exact same pickups in it. I've been using them for a long time. I think they're great. Um, but I wanted to make a little bit of a change, so I swapped out the pickups and this guitar. Um, I still went with DiMarzio, still virtual vintage pickups. Um, but in the neck and middle, I have the uh, Virtual Vintage 54 Pro. And then in the bridge position here, I've got the Heavy Blues 2. So uh, very different pickups than I would be used to using. Um, according to the Marzio's website, um, these are uh, not quite as bright, a little fatter, a little warmer sounding than the Area 58s in the neck position. A little bit more mid-range to them. So we'll see what that translates to. And the bridge pickup is definitely a departure for me. Uh, it's kind of a... I don't know if it would be considered overwhelmed, but it's definitely kind of a Texas special, Texas blues kind of thing, which is not usually something I go for in strats, but again, I wanted to do something that was a little out of my comfort zone, try something a little different. So, uh, but you know, when I was looking into uh, getting these pickups, I was like, well, you know, I, my ears have gotten so used to how the Area 58 and 61 pickups sound, um, how do they compare? And I haven't really found any good YouTube videos of people comparing these pickups, and I think they're you know, very popular pickups that DiMarzio makes, and I'm sure there's, you know, several people out there who might be curious about what these two sound like uh, back to back, so I will be demonstrating that. Um, so I do want to give a quick disclaimer before I uh, go into the comparison. Um, this is a uh, basically Eric Johnson wired strat, so uh, Master Volume Control does have a treble bleed um, installed. Um, then you have a neck tone control and a bridge tone control. Uh, this one, uh, you might want to watch my last video. Um, this one's basically the same thing. So you have a master volume control with a treble bleed. Um, this neck tone pot here is actually a uh, guitar fetish mid boost, Clapton style mid boost. Um, I am going to have it bypassed uh, for this video. So it is true analog bypass. So you're not going to be hearing any weird buffers or anything. It's going to be completely bypassed from the signal. And then uh, the rear tone pot there is connected to the bridge pickup. Um, so there's no tone control in the neck pickup, kind of. I have a 250K resistor um, on the uh, pickup. So basically it's going to be the exact same sound as the neck pickup with the uh, tone control on 10. Uh, the middle pickup is not connected to any tone control on both guitars. So basically they're going to be exactly the same wiring. I just wanted to clarify that in case you watched this, uh, my previous video about this Strat. Might be curious about how that's affecting things. So, um, how I'm going to have it set is going to have no effect on the tone whatsoever. So, this is going to be a great comparison of what the Virtual Vintage 54 Pros and Heavy Blues uh, 2 pickup sounds like next to the Area 58 um, and 61 Area 61 pickups. Um, for those of you that care, both of these bodies are made of ash. Both are made by MJT. Uh, obviously, Maple Necks. Um, yeah. Same bridge, same everything. So they're basically the same guitar, um, just different pickups. So hopefully you'll be able to hear that. Uh, so I'm going to be running through my Line 6 Pod Go. I'm going to be running through a basic uh, Plexi style setting. Um, you know, I know I'm going to get tons of comments saying, hey, why don't you run it through a really neutral, clean tone? Uh, because I don't use neutral, clean tones. No one uses neutral, clean tones. Um, at least most people tend to not do that. So because, um, quite frankly, it sounds terrible, and I think it would be a... Uh, disservice to these pickups to run it through a really flat sounding clean sound. Uh, we're going to run it through a tone that I am familiar with, um, a tone that most of us are familiar with, um, and you'll still, they're not going to be so saturated that you're not going to hear the differences, but it's going to be practical, um, you know, pr practical tone. So the Plex is going to have a little bit of gain on it. I'm going to be running through the exact same preset. Anyway, enough yakking, let's talk about the guitars. <laughs> Thank you. 
so that is uh, what the uh, DiMaggio Area 58 pickup sound like in the neck and middle, um, and the 61 in the bridge. So overall, I love these pickups. Like I said, I've been using these pickups for a long time. Um, my ears have become very um, accustomed to way these things sound. I mean, every strap that I pick up, I ultimately compare to this guitar or my Sunburst, just in terms of tone. I know what that neck pickup sounds like. You know, I know what the bridge pickup is going to sound like. Um, now, typically. I will say this, I tend to roll my tone pot back a little bit on the bridge pickup, and um, uh, it, it baffles me the amount of people, you know, short rant here, it baffles me the amount of people who complain about how weak sounding a strap bridge pickup is, um, but, you know, refuse to do anything to fix that um, because it's not vintage enough. So, uh, even just moving one wire over, anyone that can plug in a soldering iron can figure out how to do this, move one wire over on the switch and you have complete total control over how the bridge pickup sounds. Even just putting a load on that pickup makes a huge difference um, with the amount of high end that you've got. So what I'm going to do now is uh, roll off the high end a little bit on the bridge pickup just to balance the top end uh, between the neck and the bridge. I'll kind of go back and forth between the bridge and the neck pickup so you can hear what I'm talking about. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's a very usable tone, and uh, so that's with the tone pot just down to like seven or eight. Um, and sometimes when I'm using a little bit more gain, uh, I tend to roll that back just a little bit more, just to again shave off a little bit more of that really sharp top end. But honestly, I love the way these bridge pickup sounds. I love the way all these pickup sounds. So uh, now let's throw on the other strat and see how the virtual vintage '54 pickups. Uh, as well as the heavy blues, how they uh, sound through this exact same rig. All right, so we are back with the Sunburst Strat, um, and uh, yeah, this is a, a lot of fun. I love this guitar. I've always loved Sunburst Strats, and, uh, and I gotta be honest, when I first threw these pickups in, I didn't know what to think because I've, I've never heard this guitar without these pickups, but uh, I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm running through the exact same preset, haven't touched a single thing. Um, on the pod, um, but you know, you can really hear the differences between these pickups. Here we go. <laughs>
All right, so um, pretty big difference. I mean, it, it still sounds like a Strat, and to me, sounds, uh, with the exception of the bridge pickup, still sounds like a pretty vintage-sounding lower output strap, which is the tone I love. Um, that bridge pickup, man, has a ton of power. And honestly, I was very um, nervous about putting this pickup in because I usually don't like really hot strap pickups. Um, but I really like the way it sounds on here. And what I like about it is you don't have to have the tone control uh, down to make it balance out. It's a really warm sounding pickup. So the tone control was uh, wide open on that sound. It's nice and aggressive. Um, I am going to do the same thing I did with the other Strat and uh, roll the tone pot back just a little bit just to mellow out the tone and uh, see how well I can get the balance with the uh, neck pickup. And then you'll also hear uh, how much of a difference um, in output there is between these two pickups because that bridge pickup is quite hot. So uh, I really like the way these pickups sound. So uh, now what I'd like to do is do some side-by-side -side comparisons and basically uh, see what these pickups sound like side-by-side. -side. Who'd have thunk it? And so I'm going to play pretty much the same riff uh, on both pickups, so you're going to get tired of the way these things sound, um, about the way these riffs sounds by the time we're done. But hopefully uh, you'll be able to hear the differences between these pickups, and uh, hopefully this video will help you decide um, which pickups you like more. So let's do a quick comparison, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Thank you. 
right, so that has been the comparison of my two strats. Um, so overall, what are my final thoughts? Um, honestly, I really like the sound of these uh, virtual vintage pickups. Um, they're definitely different. Um, these are a lot more, the Air 58 and 61 is definitely more my comfort zone is what I'm used to. Um, but I really like this. Um, and over the last couple of days, I've been trying to you know, play some familiar songs where I know what this guitar is going to sound like and what this guitar used to sound like on them. And uh, I, I got to be honest, I, I really do like it. I didn't think I was at first. In fact, when I first plugged them in, I was like, I, I don't know if I like these because it's different. And, you know, it's good to challenge yourself and try some new things. Um, so I really like these. And I do think that um, the, the different tone, it makes you play different. Um, you know, uh, my wife was asking me the other day, you know, uh, why do you need all those uh, guitars? And uh, especially, like, why do you need multiple strats? Why do you need multiple tellies? Well, the reality is you don't. You don't need multiples. I don't think she heard that. But um, the reality is you don't. You, you need one good strat. And uh, I think either one of these pickup combinations would be great if you only had one strat. Um, I think they're both equally as versatile. Um, you know, if you're playing more of a heavier rock, maybe a heavy blues kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> maybe the heavy blues pickup and the, um, the fatter, higher output sound of the uh, uh, 54 Pros might be better suited to you. But honestly... Um, I've been using these pickups for years, and I run through some pretty hot sounds, uh, you know, quite a bit of gain, so, uh, and they sound great, so it really just kind of comes down to what kind of tone you're looking for. Um, overall, um, yeah, I definitely think DeMarzio is right. These definitely have a much punchier mid-range to them. Um, not quite as bright sounding. I don't think they're necessarily, um, the thing that worried me about them is like, oh gosh, so these pickups are going to be really dark and muddy, and I don't think it's the case at all. I think they're really fat sounding, honestly. It's a very fat sounding guitar, and I like that, you know. Um... And that, that bridge pickup, I was really concerned about that bridge pickup because I usually, again, I don't like hot pickups. But I was really pleasantly surprised by how uh, much I like the tone of this one. Um, these will always be home to me. Uh, this is kind of, again, this is these are the pickups I compare every Strat pickup to. So um, I love these. Um, I don't think that, um, you know, i got to be honest, these are my favorite. But I don't think that that is coming from a place of I really don't like these as much as these. It's just... This is home to me. This, you know, I've, I've talked about this guitar. This guitar is my favorite, um, and that's a combination of so many things. The pickups are definitely one of them. Uh, but this is a great variation, and I think that they sound similar enough to where if I break a string on this guitar, I can swap to this one, and it's not just this huge disconnect. Um, but they are uh, different enough to where if I pick this one up over this one, it will inspire me to play differently. So, oh, you can hear my dog back there. Um, but overall, I think both pickups are great. Any DiMarzio pickup is great, let's just be honest. Um, you just got to find the one that works best for uh, your situation. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you would like to hear um, these pickups, the 54 Pros, through uh, another style of preset, I know sometimes the Plexi sound may not be your bag. If you want to hear it through a fender -y kind of sound or a Vox kind of sound, put it in the comment section below. I might just get to it. Um, I'm all about trying to explore the different possibilities of these pickups. So. Um, I don't know what he's going nuts about, but I probably need to draw this video too close. Um, it's always fun to compare and contrast your guitars um, because you know you get used to them. It's like, well, a Strat sounds like a Strat, but uh, when you pick up two very different sounding guitars, um, you know it, it does. You, you do notice the differences. So hopefully you're able to hear the differences. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, go hit up uh, Demarzio if you're looking for some great pickups. They got pretty much any kind of pickup you can imagine. Um, I've used several, and they've all been great, so I'll have a link to that in the description below. And, uh, yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.